The thought of growing a platform used to be something that was incredibly overwhelming to me. I'm definitely somebody who's a big planner and I always thought to myself, well, if I start here, then I have to have all this stuff planned. I can't just start willy nilly posting. That's not really how I like to operate and it's not necessarily the best path to success. Over the last few years, I've learned so many different ways that you can make creating a ton of content so much easier for you so that posting on social media and growing your platform doesn't have to completely take over your life. Let's talk about some of my very favorite ways to get a lot of content in a short amount of time so that you can focus on your life and your business. I come from the television world and in that world, we would often spend weeks cultivating an idea for a promo, writing scripts, doing a second draft, a third draft, a fourth draft, getting it approved, having a second eye look at it before we would ever even go out and shoot. Then we would spend the entire day filming a 30 second promo, the entire crew at a location for four or five hours. And then you had weeks to edit it. You know, you'd, you'd get a second draft and a third draft and you'd go to the graphics department and they would make you this custom graphics package for every single promo and you'd put it together and then you'd send it to this person to watch and, and then they would give you tweaks. And, and before it ever even aired, it had been like an entire month. That was to make one video. So it took me a little while to shift my mindset from being like, it takes a lot of time to make one piece of content and with social media, you have to somehow figure out how to post every single day. I was like, it just seems absolutely impossible. I went and worked for a dealership where I was running their social media, creating all their video content 100% by myself. I no longer had a team. I was filming, I was on camera, I was editing. Um, I had somebody that would help me write the scripts because I knew absolutely nothing about the cars. But besides that, I did all of it and they wanted a daily post. So I figured out how to do that, but it was a full-time job. It was a 40 hour a week thing and I wanted to be able to work with more companies. And so I had to figure out how could I do this on a much larger scale? Because I obviously can't work 40 hours a week for multiple companies. I have to figure out how to create a system to make it so that I can create all of this content for multiple people in a much shorter amount of time. I worked with a bunch of different talented people and pulled ideas from each of them to where we now make sure that every piece of content we make is both made with multi-purpose and is repurposed. So how can you apply this to your business? What you wanna do is you want to think about creating your long form content first, your seven to 12 minute content if you're creating for YouTube, or let's say you're doing a podcast that's 30 minutes or an hour long. Create that first, make sure you film it and get really good audio. As you're planning your content, think about some of the different ways you can use it. If you're creating a podcast, think about, okay, I could turn this into, you know, 10 segments for YouTube. If you're creating a YouTube video, maybe think about the top five questions that your customers consistently ask you so that you can make five different videos. And when they ask you those questions, instead of having to take time out of your day to jump on a phone call or send a lengthy email, you just send them a link to the video that explains everything. Maybe you can create a series for your YouTube channel that you can also use as a series to train your clients. Same thing with creating an email campaign. You have to create all these videos anyway, why not put them on your YouTube channel? Why not cut those up even smaller and turn them into segments for Instagram and TikTok? Now you are going to run into this thing, right, where different platforms maybe require different types of content. So repurposed segments don't always work, but you can get a lot of use out of them. It might not completely replace all the Instagram content that you're gonna make, or you might still wanna make TikTok specific content, but this will at least allow you to have other go-to things that you can pull when you get busy. Say you have this library of a hundred little clips and you need just to have stuff to post to keep that algorithm going, stuff that's interesting, stuff that your, that your audience is still going to enjoy and like. Don't just put out you know random content that doesn't fit or work or like a 30 second thing that doesn't even say anything. But instead grab a succinct clip 
that's 30 seconds or 60 seconds that still offers great value to your viewer. This will also help you kind of jumpstart the growth process. It can take a while for a lot of these platforms, you know, for you to grow a following. So maybe in the beginning, you don't have enough time to really figure out what it is that your audience is looking for. So this is a great way to test some different things, put some ideas out there, start growing a following. And then oftentimes your audience will tell you exactly what they want. And then it's easier from there for you to make that specific content for that specific crowd. The next thing you want to do is plan out a day that's going to be your content day. You don't want to plan any meetings that day, you know, cancel everything, turn your phone off, set it to the side and just focus on creating as much content as you possibly can. Again, film those longer videos, film 20 longer videos, and then turn that into a hundred clips for Instagram and TikTok. It's going to go so far for you. If you have this dedicated day, you know you're going to have the content you need, and then you don't have to focus on making content every single day. You don't have to be thinking, what video am I gonna make? You know, what should we do today? Oh, we gotta grab the camera and go out and do something. Now, I still think you should do those things when you have the opportunity. If an idea sparks and you're like, yeah, let's go shoot this, this would be really cool, this would be great for our audience, absolutely do that. You don't have to 100% rely on the footage and the videos that you got from your one filming day a month, but at least you know that you'll be covered and you'll have all the content you need to fill up that month. Then when you have a spontaneous idea, it's not as stressful because you can just go do it and you know edit it in the time that you need to edit it and you're not stressed about like hitting any deadlines. Get creative in all the different ways that you can use this content that you're already taking the time to create. Have systems, get those systems set up first. Now I will say, if getting those systems set up first is going to hold you back from getting going, then maybe that's not the right way for you to do it. That's what works for me. I like to know that I have the system set up. So when I start posting that I'm gonna be able to easily just go boom, 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 boom. These are all posted. It's not gonna be stressful for me. I don't wanna to have to think about it every day. I don't wanna be laying in bed at midnight going, oh, do I have a video for tomorrow? Did I, did I get that posted? Did I have, did I add the thumbnail that I needed to add? I don't like to work that way. I very much like to have it like be able to sit down and post everything I have for the entire month, have it in a spreadsheet, know what's going out next. But again, if that doesn't work for you, then the important thing is that you find a system that does work for you. And maybe that's not having a system at all, but I, I definitely don't recommend that. If you're ready to get started on YouTube, but you're just a little bit confused as to you know where to begin, we do have a free gift for you. We have a mini course in our description box below called the top 10 things you need to know before you start a YouTube channel. So make sure that you click on that, get that. Like I said, it's absolutely free. We are your video allies. You've got this, we've got your back, and we can't wait to see what kind of content you create.